What's going on, everybody? Give OR on 4 Tito Murphy here. I hope you're doing well. And I'm here with yes, another Microsoft Flight Simulator quick fix video. Uh, quick fix might be a bit of a stretch for uh, today's video. It might go on for, yeah, 15, 20 minutes. We'll see how it goes. But I'll try and keep it entertaining. I'll try and keep it interesting. Uh, so please do stick around. So, hope you're doing well. I'm not doing too bad. What's that? My shirt? Yeah. Made it myself, I'll have you know. Look, it's got my, my, my logo. Yeah, I should, I should start doing my own merch, I reckon. Made it myself. Hang on, I've got some more. One second. And check this out, I'm back. Look at this, made it myself. I'm on the lower pill. And hang on, there's one more. Oh yeah, hang on. Get those coffee, folks, come on, do you know what I'm saying? I should have my own merch line. Who do I talk to about that? Anyway, as you can tell, I love to customize things and that's a very, well, feeble and long-winded way to segue to today's video, which is about customizing a livery in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Gotta say, I've been looking forward to this video. I'm really excited about it. It's been one that I've been thinking about for a while. And it's true, together in three steps, three easy steps, we'll go through what's involved in customizing a livery. And when I say customizing, I mean real customizing. You can make it totally your own. And I'll take you through the steps that are involved in just a moment. So, uh, one thing that you will require is some sort of graphics application. Photoshop would be absolutely ideal, and actually that's what I'll be using today. Um, but there's other programs such as GIMP, and others I'm sure too, that will do the same job. So, without further ado, let's jump in, and we'll go through the steps together. I can't wait! <laughs> Step one is that of preparation. And the first thing we want to do is download a zip file that I have prepared for today's video, which contains everything that we'll need. And you can find this zip file on tutormurphy.com slash downloads, which is a members only site. But don't worry if you're not a member, it's a free sign up to gain access. Once you have that zip file downloaded, let's take a quick look at what's in it. So we've got three folders. The first one is a door template. We're gonna take a look at that in just a moment. The next one is a Photoshop file that we'll want to update. We'll also take a look at that in step two. And thirdly, we have a livery. I have created a livery, especially for this video for you guys today, custom new livery for the Cessna 208 Caravan, which I thought I'd select because, well, everybody should have that aircraft. So we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So if you are planning to use Photoshop for this, there is a plugin that you will need. It's called Intel Texture Works. It's free. And once you download it, link in the description below, it does provide you with instructions as to how to install it, which is essentially just popping various files and various folders. And that will allow us the correct format that we need later on. Okay, so final step in preparation is, well, load up that particular livery in the third folder into the sim. Pop it into your community folder, go into your hangar as I am here, and we're going to check it out. So, as I say, I've created this just for today's video, um, and really, you know, we can play around with it. And what we want to do as part of uh, checking out this livery is decide, well, what are we going to do? And I think for today's video, so that it's not an hour long talking about how to uh, create a livery, we're just going to customize this. And I think I'm going to choose the door. So if we zoom in on the door a little, you'll notice a couple things. You'll notice here there's rivets going around the window. Hopefully you can see that okay. Uh, we've got some door hinges as well. We've got a door lock. We've got the door handle. And I think there's another hinge there. Yeah. Um, so I just call these out because these will become important um, later on. Now, what do I do for my design for the door? I'm thinking, I've already got enough logos. Maybe it's a caravan. <laughs> Why don't we do a caravan logo? Yeah, I think that'll go well with the... I'm um, Make the door black. That'll go well with the black tail and the black nose. Okay, great. Let's move on to step two. Step two is creating your design. And we're going to open up this template file in the first folder. And you'll see after the file is opened that there's a number of different layers. A lot of these are for hiding, um, but don't worry about those too much. I'm going to take you through them right now. The first layer is purely instructions. 
The next layer is a mask. The next layer is uh, guides. The next layer is paint here. That's where we're going to be spending our time in working on that particular layer. I've got a door texture layer, which will help us, and then just a plain white background. So I'm going to enable the layers that I need. Just follow along what I'm doing to do this yourself. And as I said, I'm I think I'm going to make this door black. So clicking on the paint here layer, if I press shift and the backspace key or the delete key in my keyboard, it brings up the fill box. And I'm going to just change that to black and click OK. That's my door black. That's easy. What you'll notice here are some gray outlines. Um, these are obstacle guides. They're just letting us know where there's obstacles. So you m wouldn't want really to place anything on top of these because the door handle or the window, etc. will get in the way. But don't worry, these will disappear in the final output. So I think I've got my fantastically beautiful logo of an actual caravan that I think I'm going to put on my door. So I've copied it and I'm just pasting it here onto this layer. I'm just going to place it here and yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, what you'll notice is the color of the caravan itself is not true white. It is this particular code um, and that's the same color as the base code of the rest of the livery. So it just blends in nicely and doesn't look too out of place with it being the exact same shade of white as the rest of the aircraft. So I'm going to transform this now by hitting Ctrl and T, just lining it up and getting it kind of into the position that I'd like to have it on this door. Now, if we're just working with logos, again, this can be anything you like. It can be your logo, it can be anything at all that you want to customize yourself. Um, logos are easy to work with. Text, uh, not so much. And I'll talk about that a bit more in just a moment. To show you, I'm going to actually add some text and I'll just say quick fix series for now. And I kind of want to place this around, yeah, directly under the window, I think. And that's pretty much my design complete. Very quick, easy, not a huge amount of effort went into it. I got to say, this will not win any design awards, that's for sure. But look, it gives you an idea as to uh, what's involved in customizing a livery. If you're just working with logos, then it's a piece of cake. But if you're working with text, well, it's a little trickier. Because it's trickier, the easiest thing to do is to take the text layer out of the livery group and we'll deal with that separately. I'm going to rename this group uh, left door and then I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Control and J. I'm going to call the duplicated group uh, right door. On the left door group, I want to change that from being a group to being a merge layer. To do that, I press left door and hit Control and E. Now I go to my mask layer, which is the one with the green, and I select the magic wand tool. I click on the green to select it. Making sure I go down and clicking the left door layer, I hit the delete button. Now what that's actually done is deleted all the background and just left the actual door itself. I can show you that now if I just enable that layer on its own. And that's my left door nearly ready. I just need to uh, combine it with the text, which I'll do in a moment. I'm going to rename my text layer to the left door text. And I'm going to duplicate that by pressing Control and J. And I'm going to rename this right door text. Now I just want to merge my text layer with actual door and via, uh, by the way, that's control and E to do that. And boom, that's the left door design done. Now the right hand door is a little bit trickier simply because, well, you flip it over. So the door, the left facing door needs to totally flip over 180 to face the opposite direction, which with a logo is absolutely fine. But with text, it's a little bit trickier. So what we'll do is we're going to click on the right door. I've merged that layer, exact same steps as before with Control and E. I've gone to mask, selected the green via the magic wand tool, come back to the right door and then press the delete to delete all the background. So I'm just left with the door itself on the right door layer. Now I need to flip it. 
so it's facing the right way. To do that, I go to Edit, Transform, and I click Flip Horizontal, making sure nothing is selected, like I did here. Okay, and to be able to see the obstacles behind it, making sure that my text in a moment doesn't hit anything, I'm going to flip uh, the door texture layer as well. And that's that flipped. Now I can't see it, so I'm just going to drop the opacity of the right door just so I can see any obstacles underneath. I'm going to enable the right door text layer, and I'm just going to reposition that to under the window. Okay, that looks good. Now I just need to bring up the opacity of the right door layer back to 100 so it's fully visible. And again, merge that layer with the right door text layer. And that's it, ready to go. So if I disable all layers from being visible and just show you the right door text layer, that's my final product for the right hand side of the aircraft. And if I enable the left door text, that's my final design for the left hand side of the aircraft. Let's move on to step three. Step three is updating our livery. So to do that, we're going to open up the file that's in the second folder under Photoshop file to update. Now this is a large file. It's an 8K texture file and this is what it looks like. This is how I created the livery. You'll see different groupings uh, in the layers panel there. Feel free to play around with these. Uh, it kind of looks like a, a flat pancake <laughs> in this 2D view. Uh, but what we're going to do is zoom in to the door, which is in the bottom left hand corner. And we'll zoom in to make it nice and big and take up our screen so we can see exactly what we're doing. Okay, there's the door. This should look familiar. Um, and what we're going to do is going back to our previous file that we were working on, copying the left-hand door layer that we created, and just simply pasting it into this file. There we go. What you'll notice is it's pretty perfect match. If you reduce the opacity, and then using your arrow keys, you can nudge it into position using the outline of the door as well as the hinges as well. Once you're happy, we can change the opacity back to 100 and that's the left hand side door done. And it's exactly the same for the right hand side. We'll copy the right hand door layer from our previous file, paste it on top of this file. Now you'll notice that it needs to be rotated 180 degrees. To do that for this layer, you go to edit, transform and rotate. Exactly the same, you can reduce the opacity to see what you're working with, where it needs to match up against, nudge it using your arrow keys, and then we are done, making sure to bring the opacity back to 100% of course. And folks, that's the hard work behind us. All we need to do now is to save it in the right format. So to do that, we'll go to File and Save a Copy, and we'll make sure to save the type as DDS, which is that Intel texture work, that plugin that we installed at the start. Where we want to save this, we want to save it under the third folder, which is delivery, under sim objects, under the Asobo 208B Grand Caravan folder, texture folder, and we want to overwrite an existing file. This is the file which has the plane door that we that we saw in the hangar earlier on. We absolutely want to make sure it's this file name, including the extension of .png.dds. So that's the airframe file. That's the one we want to save this as and overwrite what's there. We'll click OK, and it's going to bring up another dialog box. Again, it is important that we get the steps here correct. Under texture type, we want to change this, and we'll change it to color plus alpha. Under compression, we want to change that too, and we want to select BC3, uh, linear. And finally, under MIP maps, we want to change that from none to auto generate. We click OK, and that's it done. Folks, that's our livery created. The hard work is behind us. Now there is one optional step, it is purely optional, you do not need to do this, you could be done by now, for sure. Um, but if you're a perfectionist, if you like just to, to clean things up, well there is one thing that might bug you, it, it bugs me, and that's the thumbnail. The thumbnails you'll see, 
as shows, well, the previous design. Where's our, do our new door? We spent so long working on that, huh? Don't tell anyone. We did. So we want to update that. We will use the sim, so jumping into it, we're going to enable developer mode. And we're going to go back into our hangar, uh, making sure we choose our livery that we uh, have just created. That's how it looks now. We'll take a good look at that now in a moment. I'm going to just line up how I think it should look, zooming in and kind of getting the right angle. And I go to dev mode and then new project. And I can just save this anywhere and create a project name. Clicking on create new project, I'll pop in anything here at all. Under add package, I'll pop in anything at all. Under custom, I'll pop in anything at all under package name. I'll choose the li uh, type as livery. Asset group again, I'll choose anything at all and then click create. Finally then, I get this little dialogue and I click view and then inspector. And then I click on the capture aircraft thumbnail. This used to create a perfect thumbnail in previous versions of the sim. It doesn't create a perfect one right now, but it does ask you to select your folder where you want this file saved. I've just chosen my desktop. Um, and it kind of creates one that, uh, well, needs a bit of work. You can see there's, uh, there's overlays on top as well. But not to worry. All we'll do is we'll choose the original thumbnail, which is the one without our new door. And then click edit. And I'm going to edit the new file that um, I've created. And I'm going to just, you know, draw a selection roughly around the aircraft as it is now. I'll copy that. And I'll paste it over the old thumbnail. Now I do want to line this up. So I'll just use the grab handles here and kind of line it up so it's roughly the same size as the previous one. I'm not too worried about this because remember these thumbnails get a lot smaller uh, in the sim. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'll line this up too. And that's it done. I hit save. And that's one file done. There is a second file called thumbnail underscore small. Exactly the same thing. Just paste in your new file. Use the, the drag handles to resize it so it's roughly the same size as the uh, previous one, which is without our updated door. I'll, I'll resize this too so it fits nicely. Hit save. And then we are done. I mean, fully done, folks. All we need to do now is copy that entire livery folder into our community folder, fire up the sim, and boom, there it is. Let's check out what all our hard work was for. Look at that. A custom livery that we created together, folks. And it wasn't that hard. And the more you do this, the, the faster you get to. Now, this one in particular won't win any design awards, as I say. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite something, huh? But look, it's uniquely ours. So I'm sure you'll have lots of fun creating these types of uh, customized liveries for yourself. And folks, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. A bit of a longer one than normal, uh, but I hope nonetheless you did find it useful. Um, of course, if you did, please do give it a like. And if you have any comments, queries, or suggestions, please do leave them in the comments box below. We do read each and every comment. And finally, of course, Tutum Murphy himself streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 1900 Zulu, live on Twitch. It would be great to see you there. It's a lot of fun, trust me. Until the next one, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.